Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kyle Krieger here. So, um, I had a really wonderful video planned um, that was gonna be like a cosplay video. Um, my first time really doing like a, like a real cosplay costume. So I recently have been seeing these drawings of Batman and Green Lantern here um, in like a gay relationship. And I was like, oh, this would make for such a cute costume. I would say I wouldn't do both, but I could do one. So I did Batman. I had been really excited about um, the Batman film this year with Robert Pattinson. I just thought it was a lot of my interests in one. Um, Matt Reeves is an incredible director and I just love the way it was shot. I also love that it was kind of a true, a true crime story, which I also really love. So I thought I wanted to dedicate my Halloween costume to my first cosplay and wanting to make this um, Batman look. So after I filmed the video and everything and I put the files on my um, hard drive, uh, my hard drive got corrupted and I can't get the files off of it. I've been spending the last, I don't know, a uh, few days, weeks now trying to get the files off so I can make this video. I finally got the video to a place where it's fine and I feel good about it. And I'm making an intro now because the intro is one of those things that got lost. Um, also like a few other talking segments of the video and obviously the worst part that I lost is the end. Like I didn't get to show you the full costume so I have a few photos that I took um, that I'm gonna be able to show you so you'll get a look at like what it looks like at the end. Um, but it wouldn't be like, it's not gonna be like a video. Uh, anyway, so I hope you enjoy um, this look that I put together. It was so much fun to make. I really love building things like this, especially when they have to do with comics and Batman or any sort of superhero or, um, yeah, I grew up loving this stuff. So I hope you enjoy. So step one was to cut out all of these patterns. Um, I printed them out on a card stock and cut them out with scissors. So now I have all my patterns cut. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is the boot because I don't wanna mess up <laughs> the more important things. Um, I did, I am gonna be using this um, EVA foam that I got. Um, I got some on Amazon, I got some at Blick Materials, Art Materials. Um, I had to kind of like run all over New York looking for it because it was sold out. I'm also gonna be using um, um, like a box cutter uh, to cut the EVA foam. So the patterns are from um, a website called Cosplay Crafts, I think, um, and they're beautiful patterns and they give me um, directions on how to cut um, on the foam. So, and I have a cutting board here as well. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Surprisingly, the foam is really easy to cut. I was a little bit intimidated about making errors, but it's actually really easy and you get to hang a bit really fast. Okay, so I have the boots finished. Um, here are, this is gonna be a boot eventually. <laughs> um, and then after the boot, I'm gonna now do the abdomen armor and the like sides and back. So I think on the armor, I'm going to use um, this, which is, I don't know if you can see, here in the camera, it's like um, it's like I think I think it's a four millimeter um, foam, and I'm thinking that when I wrapped it around my body, it kind of feels like it's going to be the best density because on top of that, after that, um, then you sort of have these little pieces that are going to layer on top. And in my head, it kind of feels like a thicker foam as the armor base, and then a thinner foam would go on top of that, I'm hoping. Um, at least in my head, that's what it feels like would be the best option. And then I'm going to do um, the chest piece with the batarang, it sits in the middle. Um, and then we're gonna work down to the shoulders and the biceps and the gauntlets, finally. Using the Dremel was pretty easy. It was just like a nice way to kind of sand down the edges and kind of have a, a tool to manipulate the edges and make them a little bit more smooth. Um, then I used the contact glue to apply some of the pieces together um, to kind of layer on top one another. Um, I would make sure that the contact glue that you apply, you do it on both sides and that both sides are dry when you apply it. Okay everyone, so today is day two. It's bright and early in the workshop. Um, and I'm gonna get started today. I'm gonna be building the armor. Um, I'm gonna be gluing all the pieces together from the armor and attaching them to each other. Um, that will include the shoulder, the bicep, the abdomen, the chest, and the batarang that goes on the chest. Um, and 
Yeah, after I build the armor, I'm going to use some putty to kind of fill in the gaps and sand down the seams so that when I prime it, everything looks um, nice and even as if it were, you know, actual metal uh, or material that armor would be <laughs> made out of. Okay, so now that everything's sat overnight, um, the putty is dry and I've had it sanded, it's time for priming and painting. So I'm gonna go up on the roof, set out a shipping mat, and get to painting. Okay, so today's day three. Um, today I'm gonna be painting all the armor that I've been cutting and gluing and priming. Um, so uh, it'll be kind of like the final step in all of the armor building. After I used the plastic dip, I painted with some paint that I got at Blick Art Materials um, that was almost like a, a dark, dark charcoal, almost black. After I did that, I started detail painting. I also used a, like a wood burner sort of thing to create battle wounds in the armor. And I felt like that really added like a nice touch. It kind of felt like Batman's armor was, you know, not super, um, super clean and it kind of gave it like that nice little aged look which he kind of has in the film. After I put imperfections into the armor then I started a painting process where I did more detailed paint. I wanted to make it look a little bit more aged so I used like a white wash acrylic that I watered down and tried to you know just uh, put it all over the armor to make it look like it's kind of been through hell already. You know Gotham is a pretty dirty place. And then I started making the gauntlets where I painted um, the darts like a grayish white and then glued them on top of the gauntlet um, with a super glue. So after the armor, I'm gonna have to do um, the cowl, which is this part of the suit. Um, kind of like the most famous iconic part, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of foam in here just so it's a little bit tighter on my head. Um, so this process will be a little bit of sanding and then painting as well. So after that, I feel like the costume will be relatively complete. I'll just have to kind of put it all together and get some clothing to go underneath. Yeah, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so editing Kyle here again. Uh, so um, thanks so much for watching today. Um, the bat cowl, um, I didn't have any uh, footage left from it um, that survived. So I'm gonna go ahead and I made a bunch of YouTube, sh uh, YouTube short footage, uh, vertical footage on my phone that I'm gonna put up. I also have TikToks and Instagram reels of the bat cow process. So you can go check that out. I'll put my links right here. So you can, if you just wanna go there and look. Um, and uh, that's actually a really fun process in itself. So I'm really sad you didn't get to see that, but it's just a lot of sanding. It also takes a lot of time. One cool thing about this project, um, I'm gonna show you the photos. One cool thing about this project is that this past week, um, the, the, the series, and just like that, which is the HBO, the new HBO Sex and the City series, the costume designer emailed me and was like, hey, um, I saw you made a really beautiful um, Batman costume, really cool costume, would you be willing to let me borrow it for the show? And I was like, yeah, that would be so great. I was, I was like so flattered. Like I really threw this thing together. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing, uh, but it was just so fun and I felt so flattered that they would want to put it in the show. So I don't know if it's going to make it into the show, but I let them borrow it. So if you follow and just like that, um, my costume may be in there. Anyway, but you're going to get to see it now. I'm going to put up all the photos and images I have. Um, my friend Owen DeVolk shot them and um, yeah, hope you enjoy. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.